हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर 15 ऑन वेक्टर कैलकुलस नाउ आई बिलीव दैट यू मस्ट बी एबल टू डिसाइड द वैल्यू ऑफ लाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ ए वेक्टर फंक्शन एफ बार एलोंग गिवन कव सी और एलोंग पाथ ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन डिनोटेड बाय सी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पाथ इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ लाइन इंटीग्रल्स सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉर दिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ पाथ इंडिपेंडेंस we understand one uh, example or one remark uh, here i have taken one vector field or vector function given by 5z plus 5zi plus xyj plus x square zk and i consider two paths of integration between two points say 0 0 0 and another point is say 1 1 1 that is we are considering two points in r3 and we consider two paths joining these two points path 1 i have taken as straight line segment whose parametric representation is given by r1 bar t equal to ti plus tj plus tk with t equal to 0 to t equal to 1 and another path is the parabolic arc with uh, parametric representation given by r2 bar equal to ti plus tj plus t square k t ranges from 0 to 1 and we find out line integral of this vector function f bar along these two different paths of integrations we have obtained value of line integral of this vector field f bar along path c1 and path c2 where c1 and c2 are two different paths joining these two points c1 is the straight line joining these two points it can be in this form and c2 is the parabolic arc joining these two points this is c1 and c2 will be parabolic arc joining these two points so we have taken two curves joining two points a and b and those two curves we have denoted by c1 and c2 and we find out value of line integral of this same vector function along these two different paths and we find that these two values are different we have obtained these two values integral line integral of vector function along path c1 has value 37 by 12 and along path c2 line integral has the value 28 by 12 and i have sketched these two paths in three dimensional space here roughly this c1 is the path joining points a and b which is a straight line segment c2 is the path joining these two points which is a parabolic arc and uh, we find that line integral of this same vector field along these two different paths is different so from this we can say that the value of line integral not only depends on the vector function f bar and uh, this uh, end points a and b but it depends also on the path of integration if we consider this same vector function and if we integrate that vector function along two different paths then value of line integral can be different so this this is known as dependence or path dependence of line integral path dependence of line integral that means line integral depends on the path of integration the same vector function can have different line integral values along two different paths so the another question is whether this is always true or not for example if we consider another vector function and if we integrate that function along two different paths joining two points then also value will be different or not or under which conditions we will have this type of equality or we can say that under which conditions line integral is independent of path or whether it is possible that line integral of a vector function is independent of path that means 
suppose we consider two points a and b and if we integrate the same vector function along different paths joining these two points then whether it is possible that line integral is same along all these different paths joining two points a and b so there are some functions there are some vector fields or vector functions for which this is correct that is line integral is independent of path or we can say that there are some vector fields or under some conditions line integral of vector field is independent of path that is line integral has the same value along all the paths joining given two points a and b so what are those type of vector fields or under which conditions the vector field has a line integral which is independent of path and the answer we have already discussed uh, we are familiar with conservative vector fields if our vector field is conservative then its line integral is independent of path if we have a conservative vector field f bar then if we take line integral of vector field f bar along any path joining these two points a and b if we take any path joining two points a and b and if our vector field is conservative then line integral is independent of path of integration that means if we have any two any curves any number of curves not only two curves but if we consider any curve joining two points a and b then line integral is same along all these paths suppose i consider c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 and if my vector field is conservative then line integral of that vector field is independent of path and line integral has the same value so in that case you can find out line integral of that vector function along the simplest path of integration and its line integral will have the same value along all the remaining paths another way to find out line integral in case of path independence is uh, we know that if our vector field is conservative then it can be written as gradient of some scalar function f of x y z or f of x y in case of two dimensional vector field if our vector field is conservative we can write vector field as a gradient of a scalar function which is known as potential function for the conservative vector field so if our vector field is conservative then to find out value of line integral along any curve joining given two points a and b uh, we will consider f bar equal to gradient of f that is we have to decide what is the potential function for given conservative vector field and we have already discussed how to find out potential function for the given conservative vector field and this is equal to value of this scalar potential function at terminal point minus value of this scalar potential function at starting point value of potential function at terminal point minus value of potential function at starting point or initial point and this result is known as fundamental theorem for line integrals if our line integral is independent of path between two points then it is uh, we will have conservative vector field and therefore we can write our vector field as a gradient of some scalar function denoted by small f and in that case the line integral of given vector function between two points along the curve between two points a and b is given by value of this potential function at terminal point minus value of this potential function at initial point 
and uh, this uh, result looks like fundamental theorem of calculus if you recall that if uh, we know that derivative of capital F is small fx then we know that this definite integral of fx is given by this result f of b minus f of a that is value of this capital F at upper li upper limit minus value of capital F at lower limit. So this is known as fundamental theorem of calculus and this fundamental theorem of line integral is similar to this result. So we will remember this fundamental theorem of line integral and this is applicable if our vector field under integral is conservative and we know that how to check our vector field is conservative or not using those call conditions and once we decide that our vector field is conservative then we will find out the corresponding potential function and value of line integral along the path joining points a and b will be equal to value of potential function at terminal point minus value of potential function at initial point. So remember this important result about independence of path and I have written all these things. Some authors consider con definition of conservative field in the sense of path independence of line integral also. So if you wish you can write down the definition of conservative vector field in this uh, sense also. Let f bar be a field defined on an open region D in space and suppose that for any two points A and B in D the work or the line integral done in moving from A to B is the same over all paths from A to B that is value of this line integral is same along any path joining these two points. If we take any path joining these two points then value of line integral is same and if this happens then we can say that line integral is path independent in D and if line integral is path independent in D then the vector field is called conservative vector field. This is another definition for conservative vector field. So we will say that this line integral is path independent if the value of line integral is the same along all the paths joining two points A and B and if this happens that is line integral is independent of path along any, any path joining A and B then this vector field is called conservative vector field. And if we have conservative vector field, we will apply fundamental theorem of line integrals that we just discussed. We again uh, see this statement in formal language. Let f bar be a conservative vector field on a region D. And if f bar is conservative, then f bar can be written as a gradient of some scalar function f. And if f bar is conservative, the line integral is independent of the path joining A and B in domain D for all points A and B in D. And if the integral is independent of path from A to B, its value is given by value of scalar potential function at terminal point minus value of scalar potential function at initial point. So remember this result this is very important result. Sometimes they will ask you to find out line integral of a given vector function between given points and you will not be given the path of integration. In that case you have to check whether your vector field is conservative or not and if it is conservative you have to decide the potential function for that conservative field and using this result you will be able to decide the value of line integral along any path joining two points a and b and we will discuss this type of examples 
from next lecture thanks for watching